What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Coach K. What are you doing? What are you doing? How are you preparing for this coronavirus? Are you getting tissue? Do you have a lot of tissue stocked up? Are you ready? Are you prepared? If not, I'll see you on the other side. What's up, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Monday's motivational tip of the day, that's right, the coronavirus, that's right, uh, you know there's been a lot of panic going on, panic shopping, panic this, panic that, but here's the moral of the story is, what are you thinking, how are you thinking on the inside, what are you fearing, because remember, Fear attracts the thing that you don't want to attract. Yes, that's right. So are you living from the outside or are you living from the inside? Because I see a lot of people that are living on the outside instead of the inside. What do I mean by that? I mean by I mean that your belief, what do you believe in? Do you have faith that God is still in control? Do you still believe that what you see on the outside is more real than what's on the inside? A lot of people believe in that right now, but I'm here to tell you that we need got we got to switch that. We got to switch this right here. Our mindset. We need to go within instead of going the opposite way, basically. So we'll talk to you today about how to prepare for the coronavirus uh, mentally. You know, um, everybody's panicking, buying things that they don't need, and this and that and all that. And I understand that. You know, but we're living or you're living from the outside instead of in well, instead of inside how one you let the media tell you everything you believe in everything on social media you believe in everything on the news and everything like that as far as example who is your god do you have faith do you really have faith do you really think god will let something so how can I say this? So, well, let me say that. Just let me say it like this. God is still in control. Let me just say that. If God wants you, wants all of us to disappear, and guess what? We'll disappear, and guess what? There's nothing we can do about it. I'm just, I'm just stating the facts. There's nothing we can do about it. But at the same time, also, too, God has given us common sense. There's a lot of things that we have been through as a nation or as a world and that we came on we came back on top we have to think about those things we have to instead of panicking we have to start thinking and prepare and there's nothing wrong with preparing for or whatever the case may be but at the same time the panicking and the fear is the issue a lot of people are not having faith they're, they're going out here buying things still I, I even seen a video where people just going to stores stealing meat like by the buggies and running out i'm like really i'm like like tissue, like what's, what's up with the tissue thing? I, I'm like, what is it with tissue? Everybody's still in tissue. I'm like, in order to survive, you know, that'll be the last thing on mine. I'm like, I'm thinking like food. Yeah, at least get food, but nobody's not stealing. Well, not stealing, they are stealing. <laughs> they are stealing food, but most everyone is going for tissue. Most everybody is stocking up on the hand sanitizer and things like that. But we, we have to remember something. We have to get our insanity back. We have to focus on 
are within. Be still and know who. Be still and know who. That's it. Because when you be still, instead of out here running like you're around like you're crazy, guess what? You start understanding, like, you know what? All right, I, I hear all that stuff, but guess what? I'm about to shit all that out. I hear you, but I'm finna go within because I know where my answer at. I know where my power lies at. I know who my God is. And that's what we need to that's need that's what we need to get back to. You know, we need to stop all this panicking, stop buying all this stuff and this and that and not and make sure and here's the other thing. We have to make sure that we take care of the other person. It's not all about you. It's not all about me. It's about making sure everyone is taken care of. Whether you believe this or not, that everyone cannot survive with other people. A lot of people a lot of people complain about other people, but guess what? You need those people. We can't go to McDonald's, we can't go to Walmart without people. We can't go to the mall, we can't get gas without people being in those places. We need each other. Even from on the side of the world, China, Russia, whoever, you name it. We need each other. We, we still haven't figured this out yet. We need each other. It don't matter if you like it or not, but the fact still remains we need each other. We have to get to a point where we understand this and have compassion toward other people, but not be so, I guess, hung up on self, 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 self. Because at the end of the day, you look at the stats, you look at the facts of what this coronavirus is, you kind of, you'll calm down. You look at it from just like any other outbreak, any other stats that has, has that society or media has put on you, has shown you. For people killing themselves, AIDS, cancer, uh, you name it, wars. Come on, people. This has been happening for a long time, and this is one thing that we cannot let destroy us. We cannot let this destroy us. We cannot let it destroy this. Because guess what? If I can control this, if the world can control this, I can control you. That's right. All I need is your mind. I get your mind. Guess what? You can. I, I have you do anything that I want you to do. But at the same time, we have to listen to the health department telling us, hey, wash your hands. This is some this is something we learn in elementary school. Wash your hands every time, all day, every day. Especially after using restrooms or eating or before eating. Um, all day long. I don't know where we lost that. That I don't know how we lost that. Like wash your hands. Every day. Well, I mean, they say don't touch your face or hands. Let your hands touch, touch your face and mouth, eyes and mouth. Y'all know this. Look it up. I'm not the health department, but guess what? The information is out there. We have to read it, have faith, move on. We have to make sure that we're doing our part. And our part is, they say, wash our hands, avoid contact of the eyes and mouth or face. And as well as other people. But... Everyone should be taking this precaution. Everybody should be making sure that they're doing their part. I'm doing mine. I wash my eyes every day, which I already have. I have already been washing my hands every single day. It's a habit. The habit's already been built. For those that haven't built that habit yet, guess what? Yeah, you need to build the habit. Build it now. Because those are the people that are scared. Those are the people that are catching things because guess what? You're not doing this. You're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. So you must pay attention to what you're doing. You must pay attention to certain things. And I'm not saying everything in the media media is this and that. That's a, that's a, that's a story for a whole nother day. <clears throat> but at the same time, the basic things that we should already know and understand that, you know, like, take care of yourself. Take care of your neighbor. Love thy neighbor. Love thy neighbor. That's right. Love it. Love that neighbor. So this is Monday's motivational tip. Um, I hope everyone is safe. Hope everyone is doing well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it. Give it some thumbs up. Um, don't forget, you know, you're, you, you have the power. The power is within. How you reach that power? 
You can either look on the outside or you can look on the inside. What you gonna do? It's Coach K signing off. Y'all have a super fantastic day. Peace.